Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in this video, I would like to explain to you a nice feature we now have in OneDrive uh, that allows the user to request files from others. Uh, let's say here's a scenario for you. Let's say you, um, you know, need to request some files. Maybe you know another user, your colleague, uh, needs to upload, uh, you know, some documents, some invoices for the project. Let's say that uh, he or she owes you. Um, how do we request those files? Well, typically, right, you would maybe send a bunch of emails reminding them and, you know, asking them to upload to a certain folder, but now we no longer need to do that. Uh, we have this uh, new feature in OneDrive for Business called Request Files, and essentially what this allows you to do, it allows you to request files in a more uh, formal fashion. So let me demonstrate this to you. So uh, let's say um, I need to request some project files, so I'm logged in as Mary right now. All right, this is Mary's OneDrive. And let's just say, you know, Mary is the project manager. Maybe she needs to get a hold of some project documents that she needs from me. So the way the request files works, um, you know, so Mary would click on the checkbox next to the folder. Uh, you do need to create a folder first. You cannot just request files without the folder created. You can uh, write, uh, you have to, you know, drop them somewhere. So here we go. Here's the folder checkbox, request files. All right, and then um, this is just a description um, so that I uh, ultimately, the recipient, would know what uh, what uh, um, you know what it is that we uh, are uploading, what has been requested. Let's just say invoices uh, for the project. Here we go. All right, hit next. All right, and um, there are two options now for Mary. Uh, she can just grab this link right here and you know send an email to me. Uh, or she can actually just send it directly to me uh, by typing my name over here. Here we go. All right. And by the way, something I also want to mention is that in this particular scenario, I'm demonstrating to you where one user uh, requests the files from another uh, internal user. All right. You can also request files from anyone. All right. It could be your vendor, your client. Uh, you don't necessarily need to have um, uh, uh, SharePoint, Office 365, you can request files from anywhere. Essentially, what you are allowing the recipient to do is upload uh, the, the files into a designated folder on your OneDrive account. So uh, I'm going to just hit send over here. I'm going to take advantage of this very convenient option over here. All right. So here we go. The files, uh, Mary has requested the files. The link has been sent to me. And what's also very convenient is that once I upload the um, the files into the de designated folder, Mary will also receive a notification, all right? So very, very uh, convenient uh, in my opinion. All right, let's check it out, uh, the experience uh, now for, for me. So I'm the recipient. So here is an email that I got over here. It says, uh, Mary is requesting files from you. And essentially I just follow the prompts, all right? Here, this is the description that we provided, right? Uh, where uh, Mary is, uh, requesting the files for, for the project, the invoices for the project. So I just follow the prompts. Here we go. And now all I need to do is just select the files that I'm going to be uploaded. You see, I don't even have access to Mary's uh, OneDrive or uh, I don't have access to, to that folder. I don't even get to see that. I, I just pretty much follow the prompts and upload the files to the designated area, that's all. So I'm going to upload some files. Let's just say, here we go, this is the invoice. And by the way, right, you could uh, select multiple files. Uh, it doesn't need to be just a, you know, one file. You could select multiple files. Here we go. Now, it automatically captures my name because obviously I'm Mary's colleague. In case if it was the external recipient, in case if you're requesting items, you know, files from external users, um, the, you would see the two fields, uh, first name and last name, and essentially the user would just need to type their names. There is no validation or anything uh, like that on those names. Uh, and just literally for the, um, for the uh, um, originator to know who the files came from. All right, here we go, hit upload. So the files have been uploaded, and now Mary will get an email uh, that the files have been uploaded. I can upload more files if I want to. All right, but we are good here. So let's check it out right now. Let's go to this folder right here. And look at this. These are the three files that I have uploaded to Mary's uh, folder that she requested from me. And it obviously uh, captures uh, my name 
uh, as well. In case, again, in case if you requested files from an external user, um, if I'm not mistaken, it will say something like guest contributor, all right? Uh, because obviously, um, you know, the external user might you know, might not necessarily have an Office 365 account, all right? Um, so a nice little feature I wanted to show you today. Hopefully you learned something new. Uh, as always, uh, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.